Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve as well as some very useful tips that you should know when solving simultaneous equations with matrices using your TI Nespire calculator. So, first of all, let's get our simultaneous equations down here that we're going to solve for. In this example, I'm going to use three equations instead of two because if you can do three, you can definitely do two. So, we might as well do three because it's a bit harder. So the first thing you want to do is go to a calculator page. Then you're going to want to push this button here right next to this book, which will open up a lot of options. You'll choose matrices and then a 3 by 3 size one. Then you're going to put in your values. Put in the values of the coefficients for x, y, and z. So right before our first x is 3, before our first y is 2, and before our first z is negative 1. Then you're going to want to repeat that process for all of them. Now this next part is not necessary. It's, I'm just doing it to show you what we're doing here. So if we were to write this whole equation in matrix form, we would have our first part of the equation times our x, y, z, which is equal to, and then one more matrix with our answers. Now obviously don't push enter here because this won't give you an answer. I'm just showing you what's going on. So if we were to solve this, however, we would use this first part of the equation and we want to get x, y, and z and solve for that. So if we take the inverse by multiplying this matrix by negative 1 and then multiplying that by what's on the other side of the equation because that's what the inverse does. So our answer to this simultaneous equation is x equals 4, y equals, y equals 2, and z equals 5. Now let's look at a few really useful tips that you should use. So let's say we're using the same exact problem as before. We can actually label this as a variable by hitting control and then that button right next to the book as we did before. So now A is equal to that matrix. So instead of typing the entire matrix, we can just type A as seen here. We just did two times that entire matrix. So 3 became 6, 2 became 4, and so on. Additionally, not all equations intersect, so you cannot always find the solution to a simultaneous equation. So a quick way of knowing if your simultaneous equation will have a solution is to just type in DET and then your matrix. So we can just type in A as we have already stored our matrix, and as long as that value does not come back as 0, that is there is a solution to that simultaneous equation. So as long as it is not zero, there is an intersection or a solution. So that's a useful way to know that you have a solution. Now the last thing we're going to look at is another way to solve simultaneous equation that is a bit faster. So this is what I always use as it will save you a lot of time. You're going to want to hit menu 3, 1 and now bring up the solve function. Then just type in your equation as normal. So you have your answer which is equal to your matrix times your x, y, z. And then you're going to hit comma x, comma y, comma z. Which means you're going to solve for x, y, z. You can do this for all equations including matrices. And that will give us the same answer as before which is x equals 4, y equals 2, and z equals 5. Anyway, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.